guys it's Andrew here again today and I want today I wanted to present to you a Lego CVT constantly variable transmission now this is not oh, my design this is something that Nico 71 on YouTube built roughly four years ago <clears throat> Now on his blog, he does have all the pictures and stuff to put it together, but it doesn't seem to really make it easy to put together. So I wanted to kind of make a video about it, and then just a video going over it and explaining it a little more in depth, because I didn't feel his video did a very good job of it. But anyway, we're going to just turn it on here. I have a switch on the side because I have an LED over there. LED on that side just for at night. Now, you see that 24 tooth drives that one, which turns these two 24 and 16 tooth differentials. Now, these axles here are geared up 1 to 667. Get up. Now, the left tack is motor, indicates the motor speed, and the right one indicates the output speed. Now, if I grab the output, which is right back here in the corner, you can see the machine slow down. That is just a, a visual guide, just a, it's more of a demonstration. And the yellow perpendicular connector in the middle so shows just how much the differentials are slipping in the, in the back of the machine. I'll pick it up, turn it around, and get to the meat and bones of this baby. Now, you see the two differentials. And now, Turn this off. The bottom ratio is a ratio of 1 to 1, 24 tooth to 24 tooth. Then up here, up top, you have a ratio of 8 tooth to 40 tooth, or 1 to 5. Now, there's a friction pin here that's connected to another 8 tooth that prevents this here, the 8 and 40 tooth, from turning until torque is applied to it or resistance. So you can watch. And see now you were probably wondering why I pulled that little piece out earlier. I said, oops, that's not supposed to be there. Because oh if we put the put this in opposite way like a permanent lock like a permanent transmission lock the engine still the engine still runs at full speed while the output is geared down five times so the the L motor turns at approximately 260 something RPMs so that output would be a turning at approximately 50 40 rpm and it's, and to get back out of that gear you plop it out now Nico built his with a XL motor which I did not have so I had to use an L motor now the difference between L and an XL motor is about 70 RPM, which made a big difference in these two. I don't know what you want to call them. I really don't. But to this here gearing, what we have on the back side, a 20 tooth meshing with a 12 tooth, we had up here. It was another 20 tooth meshing, meshing with a 12 tooth. 
using Serial's gear ratio calculator, figured out that with an XL motor in that setup, these two would be turning at approximately 400 RPMs. With the X, with the large motor, they are turning at about 700 RPMs, which was too much momentum and force in them to really make the tax work right. So after messing around with the gear ratio calculator, I eventually figured out I needed two two twenty two separate just to hold the uh, ratio the same. Now Nico does have 11 pictures on his blog which are pretty straightforward in the build. There's not much about this that's hidden and you can determine almost everything from the pictures themselves. There is some, you know, created a little bit of a thinking involved to build it. But nothing someone can't handle like on his on his blog he didn't have a picture for once you get the chassis pieces in you all you can see are these two conductors these two uh, this three bar that and just all that but you couldn't see how it was really connected you had to kind of think for a moment and uh -huh. now this here is an ingenious method method i think i'll show you from this one because i can get a better hold on it And as it slows down, or speeds up, and throws the arms out, it picks up the eight-link eight axle with stop, and pulls up that steering rack, which you can see right there, which gives us our tack. Which is really ingenious if you stop to think about it, I mean. When I first looked at it, I was like, uh, that's going to be some substantial gearing down there to really do that. But then once I built it, I'm like, oh, well, that's really ingenious cool but anyway guys i'll be sure to i'll take plenty of pictures and put on either on my blog or somewhere else in an online folder where you'll be able to download them and build them on your own if you want to but for now that's it now you can dream it you can build it bye